Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to Meat Cranium. Today, we're going to be doing experiment. I love doing experiments, and there's one experiment I've been wanting to do for a while, and that is how do you tenderize a tough piece of steak? So I've seen videos before where people have tried to do this before. The only problem is, is that they they try to tenderize or they use a very good piece of meat, like a flat mignon, which is a filet mignon, but I call it flat mignon, a New York strip steak, a ribeye, or or some various other nice quality piece of beef. What I'm using today is an eye round roast steak. This is extremely tough, really no marbleization in there. There's, there's nothing, it's just a solid piece of meat and it's gonna be pretty tough. One steak, I'm going to let it soak in some Coca-Cola because Coca-Cola has been known to actually break down meat and actually turn meat into mush. At least that's what I've heard. So let's see in 24 hours if that pe if one of these uh, steaks is gonna turn into a big pile of mush. I don't think it is. Uh, next uh, steak is going to be some, uh, just put some Himalayan salt on there. And this is gonna be the control steak. All the steaks I'm gonna fork. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna stab with a fork to try to tenderize them like that. But the salt steak, which is gonna be like the comparison of everything else, is going to go unstabbed or unforked. The next one is gonna be my wife's favorite, and she likes to use this uh, this uh, this powdered type of tenderizer. She likes using that. I don't really care. And then also I'm gonna soak another steak in some lemon juice. Lemon juice is supposed to be a really good tenderizer. I think that it's going to ruin the taste of the steak because too much lemon is going to overpower the steak. It's not gonna taste very good. And then here's the wild card. The last thing I'm going to be doing is a papaya. I've done some research and papayas are supposed to be extremely good at tenderizing beef and tenderizing steak. I'm gonna cut this up, I'm gonna juice it. I'm not gonna go through the whole process. Basically, all you do is just cut off one end, you peel the skin off, slice it in half, you gut all the seeds out of it, chop it up, put it into a blender with a little bit of water, then it'll turn it into a puree, and I'm gonna soak the steak in it. So there you go. I'm gonna let these uh, steaks soak for 24 hours. I'm gonna take it out and then tomorrow I'm going to kind of do a reverse sear. I'm gonna start off inside the Camp Chef Pro LUX pellet smoker because I can get a consistent 225 inside there. Then I'm gonna sear them off. Let's get started. This is gonna be fun. All right, so I don't know how much you guys missed, but my camera kind of cut off here. So I went ahead, I forked each steak 20 times and right now um, I'm doing the, uh, the Adolph's uh, Tenderizer in here. This is my wife's favorite on one steak. Here we go. That one's done. All right, here's the bag for the powder right here. This is my uh, global warming bag. See that? Global warming. See all the snowflakes? How y'all enjoying those two and three feet of snow up there in the north, in the north, uh, the northeast, in Texas? Pretty nice, huh? Global warming. If I get a comment, are you making fun of global warming? Yes, I am. All right, next one. Going to be papaya juice. Here's that papaya right here. I made that papaya juice. Pour that in there. Next one's gonna be, it's gonna be Coca-Cola in this one. Coke. Seal this bad boy up. Then the next one is going to be lemon. There we go. Lemon. Which one will win? Papaya, salt, the powder, the Coke, or the lemon? Stay tuned to find out. All right, y'all, so it is the next day, and right now I have the Camp Chef Pro LUX. Got that powered up to 225. I was gonna use the um, Weber kettle, but I haven't used the Expert Grill in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the Expert Grill, because I like using the Expert Grill for high heat cooks. So I'm just gonna put the bottom, I'll show you guys how I have that uh, set up whenever I get to that point. But let's look at the steaks. It's been 24 hours. Let's take a look at these steaks to see how, see how these things look. And the marinade and salt and everything else. So let's take a look. All right, so the first one, this is powder one. And I got a list of how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put uh, uh, like salt, I'm not gonna put any toothpicks in it. Powder, I'm gonna put one toothpick. Coke is gonna be two toothpicks. Lemon's gonna be three toothpicks. And papaya is gonna have four toothpicks in it. So I know how to decipher uh, which one. So this one here is the powder, which I keep a hand clean here. So this is the powder one. It's uh, really, you see where some juices have uh, started to come out of it. It feels mushy. It feels really mushy. So uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna dry this one off. I'm gonna try to dry these off best I can, but I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna keep the uh, whatever they were in. I'm gonna try to keep that on there. All right, here's the salt one right here. Salt one actually has a, a little bit different consistency than this one. This right here, uh, the powder one actually feels slimy. Uh, this here actually still has kind of like a grit to it, has uh, some bite to it. Feel of it is a lot different than the one of the powder. So put that one here. Now time for the Coke one. Wow, that looks a lot different. All right, so as you can tell with the Coke one, it has turned almost like a beige color. It looks really undelectable, but it is really soft to the touch. And uh, so yeah, that's the Coke one. Uh, you see where the acids have gone in, how the acids have changed the consistency of this meat. So there you go, that's the Coke one. Move on to the lemon one now. All right, so here's the lemon one. The lemon one almost has a, uh, almost has like a gray color to it. That does not look very appealing. And, uh, but the, the consistency of it, it's, uh, it's soft, but it doesn't feel as soft. If I gotta go with the softest right now, uh, the Coke actually feels the softest right now. Now time for the papaya. All right, and here is the papaya steak right here. That's the papaya. Kind of similar to the, actually it's kind of a, a, a mix between the Coke and the lemon juice one, kind of in between. Now feel, so this, the uh, the salt one, of course, I did not fork this with a fork. So this is gonna probably different consistency all the other ones. But uh, when it comes to firmness, so far I'd say, Papaya feels the softest. Papaya is the softest. Then Coke. Then I would say. I would say the salt. And then I would say the lemon. And then I'd say probably the least, the least um, uh, softest one right now would be, would be this one. Would be the uh, the, the tenderizing salt. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let these sit out for a little bit. You know, try to raise the te internal temperatures of, of them up a little bit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put toothpicks in here. So put one, then put two, put three, and a lemon. And I'm gonna put four inside of the, uh, the papaya one, just so we can kind of decipher what's what. I'm actually really surprised with the uh, papaya one right now. Putting the toothpicks into the papaya, it was like really soft, almost like uh, it was already soft. So um, I, I have a feeling that papaya, what they've been saying about what I've been reading about papaya, just might be true. Um, but so far, I uh, don't know until we actually get these things onto the grill and get these things, uh, get these things uh, seared off. All right, so I have the uh, coals over there getting uh, fired up. This is how I have the expert grill set up. I have the ring out of my barrel house cooker like I like to do a lot. And I have some old coals down here on the bottom and I'm gonna put some fresh coals on top and kind of spread them around. And uh, just kind of, kind of let this just sit here and get nice and hot. One good thing about the expert grill, it is great for searing steaks because it gets really, really hot. And that's about only the uh, expert grill either goes hot or it goes really freaking hot. So uh, I need it really hot, so that's what I'm gonna use it for today. So we're gonna have salt, powder, coke, lemon, and then this is going to be papaya right there. I just I realized something. I forgot to run the cords through the hole in the side. Oh well. Better luck next time. But anyhow, uh, gonna pull these at right around 100 degrees to get these uh, and get these seared off. So all right, so about 20 minutes in, I swapped these around a little bit. I put number one. I put uh, the salt and powder over here because it seemed like these were getting hotter quicker. So this might be a little bit hotter over here. So I took the number three and number four, put them over here, kept number two right where it's at and have number one and number two over here. So that's uh, to try to keep them kind of even. What I tell you about these expert grills, look at that, look at the temperature it's running. Now I don't know if this, I think this gauge is a little bit off, but uh, but that's still, that's kind of a roundabout where it's at. So see, say 500 area, five, between five and 600 right now is where it's running. And that's with the lid, that's with the lid closed on it. If the lid was off, probably get a lot better temperatures so this thing's ready to go it's ready for the steaks and right now the temperatures of the steaks are running at 90 88 81 82 and 78 so the papaya one is kind of lacking it's kind of behind right now all right also right now the only one that's tracking behind right now we got internal temperature of the the salt is at uh, 100 the powders at 102 the Coke is at 95, and then the uh, then the other two are both at 100. 
the uh, lemon and papaya are both at a total temperature of 100. So the Coke is kind of lagging behind, but that's the only one I didn't move in position. I left that one right where it was at. So that could be the reason for that. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get these off and get them over on the sear. That is the salt. I'm gonna put that at 12 o'clock. Gonna put the powder at two o'clock. There's the Coke, that's the lemon, and there's the papaya. I'll be right back, I'm gonna do a minute on each side. All right, you're probably wondering why I'm going with no seasoning on here. It's because it's not about the flavor, it's about the tenderness. And I don't want the uh, only kind of flavoring, uh, except for the salt up. Of course, I left the salt on there, I patted it off. Um, but basically, I kept everything that was on there, I left it on there. All right, so it's been almost, been almost a minute. All right, let's get these things flipped over. All right, there we go. There's the salt. I'm gonna go ahead and take the toothpick out. I'm flipping it over. That looks pretty good. There's the powder. That's the Coke. The Coke almost looks like a pork steak. Okay, let's take the three out. This is the lemon. And then, of course, this is the uh, papaya the, with four sticks in there. There we go. So far, you look pretty good. This lemon one isn't really taking a very good uh, searing to it. Move these around a little bit. All right, so instead of flipping them the last time, I just kind of kept them on the same side. Now we're gonna flip them. All right, this should be it, because I think right now it's right around the temperature. Internals of them is uh, da, 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 da. 123, almost there. That's, that's, I think that's about there. 115, 120, 125, that one's done. I'm gonna give them another minute and they should all be done. Right around the same temperature. All right, y'all, so they have been resting now for five minutes. Look at all the juice, oh my goodness. Let's get, a, let's get a good close up in here of this. So this right here is the control. This is, of course, is the, uh, the salt steak. I had just put salt on it, and I did not stab this with, I uh, did not shove uh, the, uh, wow, that just cut like butter. That really cut nice. Look at that, that's it, cut really nice. Uh, so this right here uh, looks a little bit more uh, too too done for my for my liking, but tender wise, it's uh, a little it's a little tough. Hmm, that's a uh, a little tough. Now this is my wife's favorite. This is with the powder, and I poke this with a fork. Just go right here in the middle. There's a little, just a little bit of pink in there. And I don't know why. I don't know why it's like that. Okay, now let's just go with tenderness. That powder didn't do nothing for it. That's uh, that's pretty chewy. Now let's go to the. Uh, this is the. Uh, this is the Coke one right here. To the Coca Cola. Get a little bit better. There we go. It's a Coca Cola. It cuts pretty nice. Yeah, it got a little bit of pink in there. So it's probably about a medium, medium well. This one, the Coke, is super tough. Holy crap, yeah, that's really tough. Now, this is the uh, the lemon one. All right. You can really taste the lemon. You can taste a lot, wow. That lemon's like overpowering. All you taste is lemon, but tender-wise, not too bad. It's really not too bad. Now, this is the wild card. This is the papaya. So let's see. Now that just cut really nice. Papaya. Like all the other ones, just got just a little bit of pink in there. I don't know how I overcooked them. I pulled them all at, at a 120, 125. Okay, that ain't bad. The papaya doesn't give it a uh, like uh, you don't have like that the, the, like a papaya flavor. You more or less taste that beef. All right, let me run some calculations and I'll be right back. All right, so here I ran some calculations. I went ahead. I tried all of them a second time. Then I tried a couple of them a third time just to make sure which is which. So 
let's start with number five. I'll start with the fifth. I'll start with the worst one. The worst one was Coca-Cola. It was like literally eating hockey puck. Now, if you're gonna try a steak to see if it's tender, I guess probably overcooking them a little bit is probably good. I don't know how they got overcooked unless they, they well, they probably remained cooking well when I had them uh, underneath the foil. They probably uh, still continue to cook a little bit. So it probably, but I pulled them all when they're right around 125. So I should have left about a, you know, medium, medium rare, but oh well. They all kind of, you know, y'all seen it. I can't hide it from you. There's a little bit of pink in some of them. But not all of them. It's kind of weird. Coke was like eating a freaking hockey puck. Don't marinate nothing in freaking Coke. You know, I, I was surprised. I thought that the that the uh, that the soda, that the acids in soda, was going to break down the connective tissues and the protein really good. It didn't. I was shocked. Number four. Number four was lemon. Lemon uh, was just a little bit more tender than what the Coca Cola was. But you have an overpowering taste of lemon. I probably wouldn't recommend it. Um, lemon, I know, is really good on like uh, if you make like a skirt steak and you want to finish it off at the very end with some lemon on it, it's excellent. But to soak it in, but soak your meat in lemon, yeah, you're probably not going to do. You're probably going to do very well. I was actually kind of surprised about that one too uh, because I like to finish off like my skirt steak. So when I make like a, like a, a Mexican type of meal, I like to put uh, you know squirt lemon or lime across my steak, um, across my chicken. It's really good. But in this case. Ixnay Uxnay, it was disgusting A. Let's go to number three. Number three is gonna be the powder. My wife swears by the powder. She loves using the powder. In this case, uh, there was one, there was two more that beat out the powder. The powder actually, you can actually taste where it was getting a little bit more uh, tender. It was a lot more tender than what the lemon and the Coke was, but it was not as tender as our top two. Now let's go on to number two. The num my number two, and this is also gonna give away what number one is, but number two is gonna be the papaya, and then of course, number one would be the salt. Now, the interesting thing about the salt is I, did I didn't even uh, fork the steak. I didn't even fork the steak with the salt one, and it was still the most tender one of all of them, which I was pretty surprised, and it kinda had all the disadvantages um, against it. I didn't fork it, it was just salt, the salt one was the most tender. And my wild card, which was papaya, and uh, first time I've ever have ever soaked anything in papaya, it worked out fantastic. Papaya, it was, uh, you got definitely taste, it was uh, it was a lot more tender. Not as tender as the doing in salt. However, um, it also didn't give like a strong aftertaste. So uh, papaya is definitely a very good option if you want to marinate or try to tenderize your meat. Do it in some papaya. I pretty much recommend that one. So, so my recommendations are: don't do lemon, don't do coke. Powder is always a possibility. Papaya, absolutely, and and salt, absolutely. So that's my test time. I can't drop the mic, so I'll drop the pen. There we go. Anyhow, like, subscribe. I'll see you next week. And by the way. If y'all, I need y'all to comment and like the video. It helps me push me up the algorithms and YouTube. Um, so anyhow, I appreciate you joining me. Ciao.